Hi guys, I'm Dodge. I'm Andy. This is Big Mech's Workshop and Paint Studio. Uh, this is the Banter and Brushes, so a big hello to all the new subscribers this month. Hey guys, and there's a lot of you. There is. Uh, 378 of you since last month. Yeah. So, lots of channel progress, uh, going really strong. Uh, so we can only thank all of our subscribers for all the support and sharing all of our videos and hitting like, because that does make a difference to all of our tutorials. Yeah, the, uh, the YouTube algorithm's really wonky, so... Uh, if you're not getting notifications, guys, just make sure you click that bell because uh, YouTube does its thing and doesn't always um, let, let you, you know, know when there's a new video. Yeah. So just be aware of that. I'm um, sure you've been told by other people, but yeah, it's important. It's important to us. It really does help. It does. Uh, most interactions do. So anyway, uh, just explaining to all the new subscribers who may not have watched the Bannerman Brushes yet, this is us having a direct chat with our community, our audience. Letting you know what's coming up, what I've been up to, uh, we've run competitions on here, and we basically just have a chat, us to you, uh, about anything we want to chat about, really. Yeah. First one, uh, first thing on the list, is a uh, hot topic at the minute, obviously it's Indominus. I mean, that's sell out in 12 minutes, uh, pretty much worldwide. That was ridiculous. Which is insane. Uh, we've managed to order a copy. Uh, we might get it before Christmas, yeah. maybe. Sometime before uh, State United Skates to work, we'll get it. Yep. Uh, but yeah, it's it's there. It's been paid for. We're just waiting for it to arrive. So that could be any time. Yeah, lucky me. Uh, there's more Space Marines in there. We're going to do something with those Space Marines before we put them in the studio army. Me and Andy have been discussing um, doing a bunch of different chapters. We're not going to release them one week after another, but getting a bunch of chapters done so we have videos in reserve. Yeah. And then over the course of time, just dropping random Space Marine videos with different chapters. So probably going to be the chapters what we individually like and uh, ones we haven't done yet yeah. although some of them could use a redo anyway better quality video now so yeah I doubt we'll be painting ultramarines or if we do it ain't going to be me well someone else we have never done an ultramarine one I don't I know you yeah. did that captain you I did, did that captain captain, while that captain who was in the prize pool um, that nobody wants because he's painted blue sucks to be in yep oh well <clears throat> Well, we do have a lot of um, non-loyalist fans. Um, we tend to attract uh, more Xenos. <laughs> do you want to put in a bit you pop on leaning into it? It's because I'm twisted round because I've yeah. done my knee in. Ah. Yeah, we do have a lot of uh, non-loyalist fans. We tend to uh, attract the Chaos yeah, and Xenos players. Chaos and Xenos players because death to the false emperor. Damn straight. Or in my case, just death to anything that gets in my way. Yeah, including each other. Get out of the way. Yeah. And uh, going on that random uh, um, segue, um, the Typhonaut. Yes, it's coming along nicely. And I can't thank you all enough for the support. Um, loads and loads of comments on that. It's actually our top video. Um, for the last month or two, yeah. For the last month in the, in the terms that it got more views in a shorter period of time than any yeah. of the other did and more interactions and comments um, so no. I can't thank you guys enough yeah. because now I'm going to go back to what got me into the hobby really in the first place and that's converting the hell out of stuff yeah so yeah uh, we're taking things on board obviously uh, we've got um, that project uh um, being worked on it as we speak it's, also, going, it's going to be a lengthy one though because yeah. it's my personal project so it's going to take me a long time we've also do, um, picked up a commission from one of our Patreons Tom uh, which is an Alpha Legion Knight it is so there'll be another converting video again in between that because he wants insignia and stuff making it a green stuff so yeah. I'm going to be sculpting some Alpha Legion Alpha 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 yeah I'm Alfarius. Them, them too. <laughs> when you play it in reverse. <laughs> um, yeah, those as well. Uh, Alpha Legion Dragon Sigils on the shoulder pad. Yeah, and the chain. Tom, let us know if, if I can try and do some scales on one of the shin guards and stuff as well. You will get a better result if you just let me just let him do my that. thing, mate. Um, He'll be doing all the converted work. Most likely I'll be doing the painting. Uh, just so. see, because I haven't done one on dragon scales. So we'll be, the two, two videos are that. There'll be you painting the thing and I'll be converting it as well. So... There'll be a short video on that. Um, and thankfully, he didn't want me to do non-metallic um, skeleton, which I'm so grateful for. Yeah. We, <laughs> we, have a, we have a cheap way of getting around with metallics and stuff that we're discussing, yeah. uh, because I think the skeleton will look really good if it was looked like it was... Um, it had been designed to be black, but stealthy, so it's not quite metal. It's some 
light yeah. reflective surface that, uh, that sounds blue cool. on top you know what I mean that would look pretty cool so we've got some interesting ideas in that uh, what you are going to know is over the next um, month or so is the Lord of the Rings stuff getting um, worked on again yeah because Andy got a whole heap for your birthday wasn't it yeah I got a Battle of Palinor Fields um, for my birthday and uh, so as a result I'm painting that up and um, it's giving us an opportunity to paint something a little bit different um, we don't pay a lot of Lord of Rings stuff, which is a shame because I've got some very cool models in there. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to be so doing. So Thursday some... should have been. This will be coming out Monday, so Thursday will be Theoden. Yeah, you'll be getting the first video from Matt. Uh, so that's going to kind of be um, a series of me going through the Pelennor field set, and possibly as time goes on, I'll um, add fro- uh, some add of the main character in. pieces from it because yeah. you don't want to repeat things, you know. Yeah, I mean? Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to be some uh, lovely... But there will be 40k stuff in between. Yeah. Don't, don't forget, we're not just going to go Lord of the Rings. We're not all Lord of the Rings now. We're still going to continue doing all the other stuff we normally do. Lord of the Rings is just an extra. And we are mixing it up. So technically, uh, for the next month, you will get a converting video. You'll get a painting large vehicle video. There should be some a Lord of the Rings, again, because you've done the Riders of Rohan batch paint ideas. Yeah. Um, and a whole heap more just mix yeah. and match of videos now so it should change up and we are starting to slowly creep towards getting two uploads a week again we, yeah. we, we, we're able to make the pace um, so hopefully there'll be even more content coming out yeah now, now we're both back on the videos um, we'll be able to get more videos out for you guys because it does take a lot of effort to uh, get a video out in time it does there's a lot of well there's a the painting then there's the Hours and hours of editing, putting in the lower thirds, refining it, doing the audio. Yeah. I know that a lot. And then the thumbnails and filling in all the details takes a lot of work. But what else have we got coming up? See, when it comes to conversions, there's a lot of Necron hype at the moment. Yeah. So going back to the Space Marine thing, the Space Marines from the Indominus set, which... Have you have you guys managed to get yours yet? Um, because I do know the Outpost is taking orders for them. Yeah. Uh, which is our old affiliate link, but we'll get back to that in a bit. Anyway, back on with the Space Marines and all the Necrons. I managed to buy a bunch of Necrons off Andy's mate. Thanks, Andy's mate, for 30 quid. And there was like hundreds of pounds worth of Loads Necrons. Of stuff, yeah. uh, so I'm going to start getting those going. Plus, we're going to have the Indominus set. But what no one seems to mention anymore, no one's mentioned anything about Flayed Ones getting new models. So when it comes to converting, I've figured out a way of getting Flayed Ones for about £3 per model uh, kit bashing. Yes. So that will be a video coming up. I'm not going to tell you what to use yet. You can wait. Well, yeah. We're, yeah. It's, it's Don't all spoil the surprise. Yeah, spoil the surprise. So, no doubt, the minute he's uh, finished the conversion, um, new flayed ones will be released because that's exactly what happened with Fabius. That is exactly true, yeah. <laughs> yeah so we've made that joke before. If you guys want any new releases, just let me know what you need converted up and then Games Workshop will get on it, apparently. Yeah, so there is that. Obviously, uh, five of them intercessors are going to get paid white and blue. But uh, Dodge doesn't know that yet. Uh, no, they're not. <laughs> no, they're all going in the army. The Salamander's army has been getting some work on it again. Yeah. Um, I've been odd jobbing all week, pretty much, just jumping from one thing to another. Although, the one main project I've been doing is a new paint palette video. Because, as you guys know, it has been a long time. Yeah. And this time, we are doing Plague Bearers and six different dead rotten skins. One of them is quite luminous at the moment. That's the one I'm working on. Yeah, um, I'm pretty certain we're going to start getting complaints from the guys in space. Yes, yeah, it is bright. Um, it's yeah. It's... Well, some people like the cartoony, playful sort of bright coloured Nurgle, so I thought I'd throw that in there. Yeah, it's actually quite a cool one. Uh, it's just very, very vibrant. Yeah. So that's all I've really been painting at the moment, yeah. isn't it? And I don't know what I'm painting next. I've also been bitten and batting at. Um, the Eldar, uh, getting a bit of uh, work done on them, uh, yeah. as and when. And I'm also working on uh, another um, 40k character at the minute as well. Although I've had to put, it, uh, put part of it in a strip, uh, because I didn't get it quite oh, the way yeah, I wanted. I know yeah. the one you're on about. The armor's looking good, though. Yeah. Uh, so I'm working on, on Celestine. Um, but you're not happy with those wings. Don't blame you. I'm not happy we all, at all. we know where you went wrong. You were glazing, but you were making the strokes too yeah. following the thing and making the strokes too big. So really unhappy with the wings. So I put the wings back in the strip, and I'll be getting back on that next week. So hopefully, in the next week or two, we'll have a Celestine video coming up. Yep. And who knows? I might be generous enough to put it in the uh, prize pool. 
Yes, the prize pool should be running around somewhere here at some point because we have to run the prize pool. I've just reshot all that, uh, lots of stuff in there. And for those of you at the new that don't know that, our patrons, uh, a bunch of the money they give us every month, we use to buy more models for the studio and then we throw what we don't need or don't use into the prize pool to be given away to viewers. Yeah, and that's how it works. Which is best for everyone because yeah. we want to paint a variety of stuff but we don't want to keep all the models. Uh, we don't need an army for everything. No, not at all. And we've actually started branching out and starting looking at different ranges. We've got some really interesting weird horse thing monster yes we will be branching out into uh, other ranges as well but we will be keeping at least one or two games workshop products coming out every every month yeah definitely for the uh, uh, for the near future at least yeah and yeah. the idea is the conversion videos and stuff would be coming out on the mondays etc well we're trying to get back to the rhythm it's uh, yeah we're trying to get difficult. back to the rhythm but yeah um it's we've had a a bit of a lack of energy uh, for a little while Yes, uh, as of late. Uh, but we're back on it now. Um, you know, I've got a short break coming up in the next couple of weeks, uh, so I've actually freshen me out, and I'll uh, be back on the um, right. back on the uh, back on the train again. And we will be doing power reports at some point. We've actually been you shake your head, but we're doing all the <laughs> prep work. So when we, when we do do when we do do when we do them, they're going to be as good really, as really good quality. Yeah. And we are actually thinking, or we're at least talking now about expanding this studio and renting out yeah, another room on this floor. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, it allows us to uh, keep all this um, battle report and... Uh, keep the battle table in that. Yeah, and so it's not Keep all this stuff in there so it's not getting covered in talc and other casting materials. Yeah. And hopefully give us a bit more space so we can use this green screen properly. As you probably know, it's quite fuzzy around here because... Andy can't get close enough to the table because of his knee and it's casting shadows. So in there we'd work on all the lighting and all the casting and stuff would go on in here. But, you know, it's always a case of that funding and working stuff out. Although yeah. I mention it because all of our YouTube support, everyone who buys bases and our patrons are helping support us really, really well. And it's it's going up and up. So that's why we started discussing finally expanding out a little bit and just as a reminder guys um, for those of you who are um, considering being patrons um, being a patron gives you a whole bunch of advantages one of which though does allow you to um, get commissions as a massive discount aye there are rules and exceptions basically we'll do commission work but we get to pick and choose not how we paint what we paint if you've yeah. got something and we were like oh I don't want mind painting one of those we would do it at a extremely reasonable price as uh, Tom will probably clarify in the yeah. comments so we do take on commissions um, when they're suitable for what we need uh, and obviously um, being suitable a patron, for us to make a video out yeah. of it that we want to make and we're like yeah we'll do that and as a Patreon you get a massive discount on any uh, commissions we accept that is true there's also two two was it two entries into the prize pool so you yep. even if you miss a banter and brushes you may still win prizes there are depending on what you're on. There's bases every month for people that are patrons and loads of other tiers and stuff and Andy's yeah. always on there like chatting away with people. Well, I try to. Try to when you can. Yeah. There's a lot to do for two people in the studio. So much. Uh, we need a minion. Someone volunteer to work for us. For after nothing. we expand, then we get the minion. Yeah. But you have to be able to willing to work for Nathal. Nathal costs... Uh, yeah, once we've expanded, we can't afford you. <laughs> <laughs> we can't afford us. <laughs> Uh, no, the idea is to get battle reports um, a decent quality so that they get the view count so YouTube gives us enough money to pay for an editor to do those for us. Yes, that'll save us a lot of time. A lot of time. If we can pay for an editor for our videos, it's just the view count on our videos now. It's letting us down. And maybe someone who can do the audio for me because someone who doesn't stutter. Yeah, you do stutter a lot. And also, where is our White Dwarf Games Workshop? Yeah, didn't turn up. Again. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get on the phone and have words with them. Um, is there anything else we haven't touched on in topics? I'm too focused on phoning games workshop now. I'm like, where's our white dwarfs? That's two months. Yeah, a little bit confusing is that one. So yeah, we apologise about that because uh, yeah, we didn't get any. It usually helps our content out. Yeah, uh, stretches the week through. Um, well, stretches it out, but fills in the week even. Uh, and that's about it. Um, we just a lot, a lot of things. What we're waiting. I love that. Get the salamanders done before the new box set. 
because that's going to be hilarious. Just about finished the Shadow Spear box set, the Dark Imperium box set for Salamanders, and then a whole other box set of Space Marines. Fun times. <sighs> the Blade Guard look great, though. Yes. The, do the dudes with the shields, they look wicked. Uh, and one of the plans is to do one of them up as a Templar. Yeah, why Templars don't you guys cool. tell us what chapters you want to see? Because yeah. we will inevitably have a bunch of marines kicking around that we can paint and we can throw back into the strip to repaint them later on yeah um uh, obviously all the paint space all the space marines will eventually begin turned into a salamander but before we do that we will we'll well use the models yeah we use the models for the tutorials and therefore you get what you want Aye. Uh, so i know there's not a lot of uh, loyalists uh, on our channel but if there is speak up and tell us what chapter you want Yep, and obviously I'm assuming Athol's going to be on there saying Space Wolves. Of course he is. Yeah. I do think one of those guys with a shield will look good as a Space Wolf. But yeah, uh, I, I think... Um, but you'd really want to convert him with the fur and skulls, yeah. then it would it would look amazing. Yeah, I think, that, uh, I think they would really lend themselves to being um, wolfified. Uh, yes, yeah, so that shield, and already with the um, shield with the torso on it and stuff. Yeah. You could do a lot with those with Space Wolves. Yeah. Uh, See, we mentioned Affle there because we know what Affle collects. Can you tell us what you collect so we can talk yeah. to you better about your stuff? We want to know, damn You know what we collect. We want to know, damn it. Like Send I us got, photos as well. I collect orcs and Andy just collects anything chaosy. Night Lords mainly. Yeah. I'm a, pike, I'm a magpie for all things uh, Night Lords. Yes, you are. So, yeah, things have a tendency to turn in dark blue around me. Um, so, yeah, let us, know. Uh, let us know what you collect and send us photos on our Facebook. Uh, we love to see your stuff. All right, that's true. So yeah, we've had a, a some really a, a really cool converted, um, inspired by uh, Dodger's um, Land Raider conversion, uh, which still needs finishing. Uh, when we get, we've got a Death Guard on. Uh, when so, that gets built, then I'll finish that. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've had a um, somebody uh, drop us a message of the of his own um, Land Raider, all nurgled up, and that it looks great. That's cool. It's got arms and stuff as well. I haven't seen that. I have to show me in a minute. Yeah. So yeah, sh sh send, send us photos. Show, uh, tell us, tell us about your own uh, your, your own uh, collections, um, even if it's not forty k. Because I, it's, at this point, it's our own small little community. Yeah. Um, we do know some of you quite well through the comments, but uh, if you're not if you're not used to the channel, or you're not if you're not used to being in the comments, or you're new to the channel, hit the comments. Um, yeah, get talking. Once we upload a video, if I've got no to do for the next hour or so, I will just sit there and type away and chat to people we do read every comment and we do try to get back to as many as we can sometimes we don't get notifications for your comments also by the way yeah which is unhelpful it is um, but yeah I do tend to hang out uh, when uploading a video like this and yeah. uh, checking out the comments because I'm usually working on the computer anyway because I've got even more things to do on the computer yay and we're working this weekend <laughs> yeah good luck with that I'm, um, I'm not you're just going to get drunk, aren't you? No, I'm no. not. I, I'm not. Uh, You're feeling all right? I, I'm feeling good. Uh, I am going to um, have the weekend without Dylan this weekend, so I'm going to uh, be spending some uh, chill time with the uh, other half. Getting drunk? Possibly. Uh, that's not the intention. I'm also going to be playing Saga this weekend, which is a great little game. All right, then. Plans are better than mine. So the laptop <laughs> will make more animations and other things, but... Anyway, I think we've waffled off, off enough as I see this clock's coming up to the 20-minute mark. Yep. So, prize pool. What we got in the prize box? I'll let you draw today. Um, and we're still using the snazzy Abaddon box that's absolutely <laughs> tatty now. It's about three inch of uh, talcum powder on it as well. Everybody's in there, as per usual. Yep. I don't really need to if show you wanna, that. If you want to uh, qualify for the competition, the Patreon gives you two entries. Just comment on this video. And that'll give you an entry to the next one. How easy is that? Yeah. Everyone's got an opinion. Just stick it in the comments. Tell us what you're playing. Yeah. Just... Or who. Yeah. I mean, anything like that. We do like to have a chat where we can in the, in the comments. And then you'll be put in the prize pool. Sorry, in the prize draw for next month. It's that simple. Yeah. So another reason to hit the bell on the notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. Right. Grab some at random. Uh, this one here. So, congratulations to 
Athol. That's well, about time Athol <laughs> won something at last. So congratulations, Athol. You finally won something. After how long? Yeah, exactly. So he's uh, on every comment as well. He is. So no doubt you're gonna re- um, you're gonna catch this and uh, just let us know what you want from the whirly bird. What with uh, the whirly bird? <laughs> yes. Because I can remember words. Ah, the, uh, la- the lazy Susan, the prize pool. Yeah, so let us know what you want. Uh, it'll be winging its way to you. Yep, so that's that sorted for yet another month, I think. So, back to what we were saying before about our new affiliate. Let's just fill you in on this before you leave, because this is new and important. Yes. Right. We are now an affiliate of... Da, 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 Element Games! Yay! Which is which is cool. Uh, one of the reasons we're excited about that is they have a really cool point system. Yeah. So as with the outpost element, follow the link below in the description, and Element Games will pay us out of their own pocket, out of the profits they make. But we have a promotion code that if you type in big two two three, capital letters, as you leave the checkout, they have a loyalty system. So if you spend however much, say. It's 80 for free delivery, which is what we'd usually spend. £80 for free delivery, they give you loyalty crystals. You get eight, which is 80p. So it's 10p per 10 you spend. But if you put in the code, big223, that becomes £1.60 back in the yep. crystals. And the crystals are basically your store credit. So every time you spend, you make some money back. And yep. that also helps us make some money and they pay us. So yep. we're really happy with this. And we'll also get the store, uh, um, store crystals because you've put in our code. Yes, we also get some. So it's gonna dub- it's gonna Everybody double stack. Wins. Everyone wins extremely this time, like yeah. a lot more. So, Win for everybody. This is awesome. Uh, we're really pleased. Uh, Element accepting us as an affiliate. So yeah. that's great news for us. And um, for those that have made an Outpost account and are just familiar with it, it's still down there, yeah. and you can still use the Outpost affiliate account if you would like. So we now have two affiliates. I don't know how that's gonna work. We're just gonna promote mainly the Element <laughs> Games one because it benefits us and them ever so slightly more. But, but the Outpost is still gonna be in the description of every video. Yeah. So we appreciate any uh, assistance you can give us with anything. Yeah. The best thing about this is it's absolutely no cost to you. Yes. You obviously are gonna buy cheap miniatures anyway. And we've got a really good selection. Yeah. They have um, a really good selection. And I will say, you can compare the Outpost and Element Games prices, actually. They sometimes do differ. Yeah. So you can, might be able to find something you're looking for a little bit cheaper. On one or the other. Yeah. They do, uh, they are um, very similar on pricing, but one, sometimes one's a little bit cheaper than the other, or yeah. vice versa. So they're both well worth uh, checking out. Of course, 15, 20% off. Exactly. It makes a difference. I mean, does. the. Typhon I made, that would have been a very expensive kit if I didn't buy yeah. it off one of these guys. Yeah, too right, yeah. I think it's up to 160 quid currently in parts. And about 400 quid in green stuff. No, no, not yet. It's green <laughs> stuff, someone mentioned this. Green <laughs> stuff is actually surprisingly cheap. I think it was Athol mentioned it. It's like, I hope you bought enough, I hope you have enough green stuff for this. It's like, actually, I bought like 36 inches of green stuff for like £8 or something. Yeah, you check the shop about on eBay and you can get some real good deals on green yeah, stuff. Yeah, so I've got plenty. Anyway, we've waffled again. Yeah, we have waffled. We've managed to drag out for another five minutes, so uh, apologies there. Well, we did need to explain the new affiliate and yeah. the, the promo thing. So, as always, we've got to thank our uh, uh, Patreons and the affiliates. The affiliates we've already mentioned, uh, but as for our Patreons, oh boys, Matt, Ludwig, D Wack, Mark, Dave, Tom, and Spiky Dude. Thank you to uh, your assistance, guys. You're our top paying Patreons. The other Patreons as well. Uh, we do thank you a lot. It, 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 was, it is all helping yeah. uh, dramatically. Um, Every little helps, guys. Yeah. So, all these affiliates and Patreon support, if this just keeps going up, we will actually be able to expand and t- like hopefully get that room, turn it into a setup room with all the lights and everything yeah. we need to really do some battle reports. Which will keep this glorious battle mat nice and clean. It's going to need to clean before we put it in there. It's covered in... Stuff. Stuff. Mainly bases and silicone moulds and stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to describe everything that's on this table. This it's a lot all, of junk. Yeah, just, we, we've, oh, we have outgrown the studio ever so slightly at this point. Yeah, we are. We're starting to outgrow it. We've been here a few years, so hopefully, with a bit of help from everyone, if everything goes well, we can actually start expanding, which would be yeah. amazing to have some leg space back. Yes, definitely. So huge thank yous to you guys for watching this and we shall catch you in the next one. Catch you in the next one, guys. Sarah.